In this video, we will connect a motor to the EV3 brick and then program it to rotate. To do this, we need a laptop, an EV3 brick, a USB cable, and a medium-sized motor. First, connect the USB cable to the brick. Then connect it to your laptop. Turn on the brick using the center button. You will see your laptop sync with the brick. Next, connect the cord to the back of the medium motor. Connect the other end to the brick. There are different ports for the motors. We're going to put this in port A. If you look at the software, under port view, you will see a medium motor plugged into port A. If we rotate the motor, the value will change. The brick can be programmed to rotate a medium motor and a large motor. First, pick the port that the motor is plugged into, A, B, C, or D. There are different modes for the motor. The motor can be set to rotate by time, degrees, or number of rotations. The inputs change depending on the mode that you choose. If the motor is set to on, it will rotate and move on to the next block in the program. The speed can be set on a scale of negative 100 to 100. A positive speed will turn the motor clockwise. A negative speed will turn the motor counterclockwise. The motor will continue to rotate until it is stopped, changed by another block, or the program ends. If the motor is set to off, it will stop rotating. The break at end input will either stop the motor immediately, that's the break, is true, or allow the motor to coast to a stop under its own momentum, that's false. The on for seconds block will rotate the motor for a set amount of time. The speed and braking can be set as well. The on for degrees block will rotate the motor for a set number of degrees. The speed and braking can be set as well. The on for rotations block works the same as the on for degrees block, but uses a different method. The block will rotate the motor for a set number of rotations. The speed and braking can be set as well. Let's look at a sample program. The medium motor will turn on at 50% power for 3 seconds and then stop. After 2 seconds, it will rotate at 50% power for 720 degrees and then coast to a stop. It will then wait until the center button is pushed and then the medium motor will rotate at 25% power for three rotations and then 25% power for three rotations in the opposite direction. The last two blocks are in a loop block. They are set to repeat three times. Here is this program running on the EV3 brick. The medium motor and the large motor both have the same modes and inputs. Once you learn how to use the medium motor, the large motor works the same way.